Okay guys, this is my uh, next video on the uh, glutaraldehyde and its effects and uh, I'm just going to walk in here and do some close-ups on the glass and on the, uh, the foliage. The, uh, the moss looks like it's really growing good. You can see, I'll, I'll stop for a second. You can see it looks like it's growing. All the plants look like they're in pretty good shape. Fish seem fairly, uh, fairly happy. A little dark there, but uh, overall it looks pretty good. Um, just in general, plant growth is pretty good. You can see the uh, Amazon swords. I think they're Amazons are uh, sprouting and rooting. I'll go up here up top so you can see. Watch out for all the light when I open the aquarium. You can see there's some good. Uh, root structure down there and I'll show you this getting some good uh, rooting out of it like that right there so with some shoots and I've only been applying uh, probably like probably about um, the glutaraldehyde, probably like about one of these. That's a like a baby doser thing. It's about five milliliters. I've been applying that probably every, um, I'd say every three or four days. So I haven't been dosing on a very regular basis. Um, uh, just been <clears throat> doing it occasionally. And uh, as you can see, the uh, the growth of of the plants and how green they are and uh, uh, they just look really really healthy and you know it hasn't seemed to affect the fish at all um, I'll zoom in on that you can see those uh, the java moss looks really really good and so I think it's working uh, you can see it seems like it's growing pretty good right there and uh, so I'm going to tentatively say that the uh, java moss is a success and uh, if you have any questions, just uh, ask them on the comments section on the video, and I'll I'll be uh, uh, I'll be sure to try to answer them. Thank you.